Welcome, my beautiful, beautiful Sagittarians. Happy, happy new year. This is your tarot and oracle card forecast for the month, the entire month of January 2021. It's divided up in four cards. That means one for each week and a clarifying card to go with it. You are also going to receive four energy cards to tie in this reading. So let's see what we have here for our beginning. Um, we'll get these cards pushed over a little bit so that we can come in and read them as they are per week. So your first card you got, look at this, the Wheel of Fortune. So karmically you're being sent this beautiful, beautiful Wheel of Fortune saying that luck is shifting, luck is on your side, and you're now going to be able to step up and move towards your goals. This is also, you know, the card that says, you know, the circle won't be broken and this is completion. This is full circle. So you're going to be seeing the coming into the beginning of January, some really good shift in energy, a shift that says things are going to work out in your favor. If you have been thinking and uh, about money or been concerned about your financial status, this is going to improve. This whole reading seems to be almost like a financial forecast for you, Sagittarius. So perhaps a lot of you, that's what you're focusing on, is the financial part of your life going into January with the brand new beginning month of the new year. Beautiful. And clarifying that, you have been given the Queen, <clears throat> the Queen of Pentacles. And the Queen of Pentacles has this ability to give birth to her dreams. She's very motherly. She's very instinctive that way. And she has this ability to make things grow. She's got this ability to, you know, put her hands to things. She's not the king who is the Midas touch, but she is capable of making things grow herself. So you could be developing your business, your career. Maybe some of you are opening up a new passive income type of business. Maybe some of you have just decided that you're stepping out there and you're going to be self-employed, becoming your own boss. But know that the Wheel of Fortune saying that you have this ability to take on the energy of this Queen of Pentacles and step up, go forth, plant your seeds and watch your prosperity coming in. Look what you've got with it. Wealth. So definitely you're going to be experiencing wealth. For some of you, it might be in your health. Others, it could be in your financial area of your life. But I love, you know, it, depending on how you perceive wealth, you are going to see prosperity, abundance, and fulfillment coming in. This looks like it's going to be an amazing month for you, Sagittarius, with wealth and prosperity coming your way. Your next card that you have is the Six of Cups. And this could be somebody from your past coming in here who is tapping into you, who wants to contact you, who wants to connect with you. Maybe they come in with <clears throat> a fresh new beginning, new ideas. Maybe they're coming in with their hand and attention, affection, appreciation, respect, and support. So it could be somebody that you may have been in contact with prior to the, to the lockdown or even somebody going back as far as your childhood many years ago. So, you know, I do think some of you will have this connection. They tend to step up. I think they're going to be very loyal. I think they've always been in your end of the ring, and who knows what caused this, uh, this separation of contact to happen. I think you're going to be reconnecting with somebody, and I think they're going to come here to help you. Some of you could be also reconnecting with your children after the lockdown. You could be reconnecting or having a child brought into the home because you had this queen of pentacles. She has this ability to give birth to her dreams and perhaps there may be a child being brought into the family circle. Know that you could be actually entertaining, mentoring, teaching, or being in contact with children as well. Coming in with this Six of Cups, you're given the Eight of Cups. And this is the, the card of balance. So as you flow through this month, know that you are probably a lot of you contemplating going in a new direction. Perhaps some of you have said, you know, I need to do something different. I'm going to get together and with 
with whoever's coming in here in the past with me and together we can collaborate and move on in a new direction. It, it could be in the form of many things, but I think you're going to be able to see that you need to get your ducks in a row first. You need to cross your T's, dot your I's because you're not there. You know there's a better direction. You know there's a better future ahead of you, but it's taking time. It's taking time for you to process it, to plan it, to get it moving. You've got the, the this is amazing. You've got the harvest here. And again, this balance card, I want to bring the balance card into this as well. The Eight of Cups. Uh, this card here, the Lennerman refers to harvest, but it means that you have to wait. This is going to be prime time this month for you to see fruition and abundance coming in. But remember, like everything, uh, you know, like every seed we plant, it needs all the elements to germinate, bring it into harvest, bring it into complete full bloom. You may be waiting for this to come in with the Eight of Cups not there yet. So maintain your balance and your footing here while you're waiting. You planted your seeds well. Look at the third week, the Seven of Pentacles, okay? So definitely you have done something here and you are waiting for your harvest to come in. Again, you did it well. You're waiting to hear, maybe you put out a proposal, maybe you put out a resume, an offer, an opportunity uh, for someone else. Maybe it has to do with someone you've connected with from your past and you're going to collaborate and put your ideas together for some of you. You planted these seeds well, my friends. So know that you need to just be patient, take a breath, don't worry about it. It's going to come in in your favor because you did everything right. Coming in with that, you have the Page of Rods. And this Page of Rods could be somebody who, you know, could be, uh, you know, <clears throat> an Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarian energy coming in towards you. And he, this page brings message of new insight and fresh, fresh ideas. And I want you to stand in your your optimism and stand in your confidence because you're, you, you need to be willing to go in a new direction this month. Some of you might be stepping out there and doing something totally new that you haven't done before. And do it with enthusiasm because this is all about somebody who comes in here to bring you this good news. Also, this could be a charming admirer that steps up as well because we did talk about the, the uh, you know, the Six of Cups, someone from your past. And also, you know, look at the child. This person could look younger, act younger, or even be younger than you that's coming in here. Uh, and don't be afraid to take a chance here, all right? So, you know, this is beautiful. Your final, your, your, your pardon me, your energy card with that is surrender to inner peace. Cultivate inner peace on a daily basis in quiet, meditative moments. Focus on the stillness within and enjoy your inner refuge. Others will feel your good vibes too and your life will flow easier. So don't get stressed out here while you're waiting to hear about this, okay? St st stay patient here because it's coming in. Things aren't moving yet as fast as you want, but they will start to flow. You're going to see this abundance coming in all in perfect timing, okay? We talk about divine timing all the time. So just surrender to inner peace while you're there. Wait for it. Anticipate it. Manifest it and believe you're going to get it. All right? Beautiful. Nine of cups. Make a wish. Wish is fulfilled. Cups being filled. You're going to be so happy here because things are going to start to come into you. Maybe it has to do with the, your relationship part of your life. Others, it's going to have to do with the beautiful abundance of giving birth or giving birth to your dreams. So these cups are going to be filling. This is wishes fulfilled. And with that, you got the nine of pentacles walking in your garden of abundance, keeping your eyes open, being open to new offers, new opportunities, things coming into you. Again, it's like a brand new beginning here for you, stepping up and being able to accept the beautiful, beautiful prosperity coming in. Oh, this, this reading is amazing, Sagittarius. I think some of you are, you know, you're going to be going out on your own, at maybe opening your business, and then you want to collaborate with someone else. Maybe you're going to bring in a secondary partner or somebody. Could be partnerships and romance or business here. You've got this good news. Stay enthusiastic about it. You've done your work here. It's just taking time, and you will see your fulfillment and your fruition and your abundance coming into you. We talked about it, the wealth card, the harvest card, 
beautiful. The Queen of Pentacles, the Wheel of Fortune. It doesn't get much better than this when it comes to your wishes being fulfilled. Beautiful. You've got the Wisdom card, and that's the card that says pay attention, okay, to the new ideas and new projects coming into you. And we talked about that, right? So this is definitely time to take action, start new projects, work on new ideas, nurture and care for yourself. So while you're in this situation here, okay, surrendering to your inner peace, you can nurture and care for yourself, thinking about the new ideas, thinking about the new projects that are coming into you and doing it with anticipation, doing it with, with manifestation and the belief it's coming into you. You know how I talk about the law of attraction. You know how I tell you and I mentor and I, to, and I, and I, I, you know, lead people into, you know, into this mindset. Okay. Be mindful of how you think because what you think you create. So keep your mindset positive. This is a beautiful month here, my gorgeous Sagittarians, you are going to see prosperity and happiness coming in. It's, you know, right off the bat, you get hit with the Wheel of Fortune. And then you get this collaboration here of, of, of a, a dual and mutual energy connecting and the harvest waiting for it to happen, planning it and doing it the right way. And then at the end of the month, your wishes are fulfilled. You're going to be able to walk in your garden of prosperity again wonderful well my beautiful Sagittarians this is your forecast for the month of January 2021 and I wish you a great remainder to today and a beautiful month here to look forward to and to anticipate with positivity and remember always that the universe and the divine your higher power wants you to succeed and find your happiness and peace so surrender to it and move forward towards your goals and happiness. Blessings, my beautiful souls, and know that I always and only stand in this circle of love and light for you. And my prayers and blessings are that you stay in all over well-being, good health, physically, emotionally, mentally, and spiritually. I have to tell you that the page of rods also refers to good health, okay? So I didn't mention that in the reading. So please play safe, stay safe, and be safe. And I'll see you soon. This is going to be a fabulous 2021 and a beautiful way to start your year off, Sagittarius.